I worked in restaurants for seven years first because I thought that's what I wanted to do. And I did until it was time to have kids, and then I, that was a little problematic. So I left thinking I'd do uh, recipe development and testing for a short while, but I never went back to restaurants. I ended up landing a job at Gourmet Magazine where I worked for 25 years, the first four in the test kitchen, testing, developing, and styling food for photography. And that morphed into a job that I liked better, which was I was chef of the executive dining room. So we entertained clients. I had 16 seats and no food cost. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I did that for 20, you know, whatever, the balance of the time there. But along the way, I ended up, because uh, I was lucky enough to land a job with Julia Child in Boston, I ended up working with her at Good Morning America. And then I ended up doing all the prep for all the chefs, all the behind the scenes food styling and producing sometimes, um, mostly food styling uh, for all the chefs. So I got to know them all, which was really fun for 10 years from 87 to 97. And because of that, I ended up meeting the people at the Food Network. And I ended up with an on-air job, not a job I ever wanted, but I worked at the, because I didn't want to be on TV, but I loved teaching. I taught at a place in New York called Peter Combs New York Cooking School, which turned into ICE. Um, but at any rate, so I got the job. I did a live call-in show for six years, which was really live. Um, Kirstie just said she was one of the people who put out one of the fires we had one night. Uh, I mean, it was, I dropped it, I burned it, we got six dirty phone calls. And then after that, I did a tape show for a couple of years, and um, then we parted ways, and I continued working at Gourmet. Now I have a public television show called Sarah's Weeknight Meals. I have written four cookbooks. So I'm currently freelance, so I did that. I was in cookbook hell for two years. I write a column for the Associated Press called Kitchen Wise, a weekly recipe plus 500 words. And um, yeah, and I have my television show.